All right, so here we go. Uh, getting ready to open some 2019 Leaf Valiant Baseball Value Packs. Uh, they were about 34 to 36 dollars a pack. I can't remember. Uh, not cheap, but uh, it's uh, got two autograph cards per pack. Um, uh, Jason Dominguez with the uh, Yankees, obviously being the one that people are wanting to pull. Uh, I went ahead and bought 20 of them, so I've got several stacks. Um, and we're just going to see what we have. So we'll just rip into this first one. Uh, looks like we're going to need a pocket knife. So hold on a second. Of course, my pocket knife is buried. Mm -hmm. There it is. All right. Let's see what we can find in here. Leaf always does pretty well with this uh, product. It's a chrome product, so they tend to grade pretty well. Um, usually pretty clean. So we've got uh, first card here is uh, Sammy Sane. Cyan. Not sure about that one. And Audley or Adley Rutschman. So let's see what these are. This one's out of 99. Both of them are out of 99, it looks like. So pretty sweet. Looks like they're both on card autographs, so that's kind of nice. Not really familiar with these guys, but that's what happens when you get some of these younger talents that are coming up through the minors. Need to watch more baseball, I suppose. <laughs> All right, let's see here. So we got Seth Johnson, and I'm guessing out of 99 also. And then Tyler Callahan. It's a pretty looking card. And Tyler Callahan out of 99. All right. Looks like we're going to have a 60 game baseball season uh, this year. Uh, at least that's what they're saying. Um, so we'll see if that uh, actually comes true. All right. Here we've got an orange. So we got a different color. Uh, and I see Nunez. Uh, who is uh, out of 35, it looks like. So that's awesome. It's already got a little bit shorter print. It's pretty. Uh, and then Matthew Thompson. And he's going to be out of 99 also. All right. So we'll put him aside. Put him with the 99s. Still no Dominguez, but that's kind of how I do. <laughs> A lot of times I'm not overly lucky. Except for my wife, of course. All right. Let's see. Uh, it looks like we got another one. Uh, so Corbin Carroll, which is out of 10. 10 of 10. That's awesome. So there you go with Corbin Carroll. Fantastic. So we'll put that aside. And then we have Cameron Minzner. That's nice. And probably going to be out of 99. Yep. It's a pretty neat looking card though. They do make a really nice looking product, I have to say. Uh, most all of these so far have been uh, on card autographs, which is also something that's uh, a lot more uh, pleasing to the collecting world. Um, all right, let's see here. So then we have Joe Ryan, which is going to be out of 99 again. And then it looks like we've got another orange, which is out of the 35. So we've got, uh, out of 35, an Aaron uh, Shook. Shunk, once again. All right, we'll put him aside with the others. So, so far, these are the ones that we have that are different colors. It's pretty cool. Still chasing that Dominguez. Why are we chasing the Dominguez? Well, I think everybody knows that he's one of the top prospects as far as, uh, you know, the 2020 product goes. He is uh, the one everybody's chasing. He's in the Yankees organization. I think he's out of Puerto Rico. Um, fantastic talent. Uh, everybody kind of wants him. So that's why he's worth the most, I think, uh, in most of these. Wow, look at that thick signature. That's awesome. Uh, I'm not even going to try to say his last name. Good old Jack there <laughs> out of 99. Uh, man, rough, rough last name. And my last name's Leach, so that tells you something. So then we have uh, Anthony uh, Volpe, uh, which is yet another 35, so that's kind of cool. Once again, I need to brush up on my minor league stars because uh, 
I was pretty good the uh, last two or three years, but uh, now the loop a little bit probably. All right, uh, Matthew Thompson again. I think we have um, a different version of his, and this is going to be uh, out of 35. And then uh, Matthew Allen out of 99. Sharp looking card. And uh, let's see here. So look at the Matthew Thompson that we had in here. Mm -hmm. There you go. So we got both versions, green and orange. So that's kind of cool. Pretty neat. But we'll put him in the specialty pile. Move to the next one. I'm glad Leaf is still around. A lot of the products uh, kind of made their way to Panini. And Panini is a great company. But, you know, I like the diversity of having Fleer and Donruss and all those guys. And so... Some of the, the legacy ones like Leaf that are still floating around, uh, it makes me happy that they're still able to make it. Uh, wow, here's a new one. Uh, so Rising Stock. Um, looks like he's going to be a 99 also. Haven't seen that one though. That's kind of cool. And then we have Gunner, Gunner Henderson, and also out of 99. So I have to do a lot more homework on minor league because, man... I even do the future, uh, the futures game uh, that Lee puts out. Uh, some of those guys from like 2012-14, they're not even in this set yet. <laughs> so, all right, let's see. Ooh, we got a different color here. Here's a talent, uh, Quinn Priester. Quinn Priester at 15, number to 15. Ooh, look at this. And then Sam Huff, who is also he, he's number to 25. So wow. So two really good uh, lower lower print inserts. So put those to the side. Go for the next one. So it looks like we're about halfway there. So we've gone through. This is pack number ten, um, and we'll see what we get. Oh, looky there, numbered out of seventy-five. Oh, I love it. All right, so Will Wilson. Uh, and this is going to be out of 35, it looks like. Um, we'll look at that one in a second. So 25, 35. Awesome. Really look sharp looking cards. I like them. And once again, going back to the on-card autograph, you can't get any better. But here is the reason why we bought these. Oh, so nice. Look at that. Rising stock. Jason Dominguez. Love it. That's that's uh, That basically uh, made it worth the worth opening these packs mm, man that's awesome we'll, we'll put that up here for now maybe it'll stay up there on the computer that is awesome all right well let's go to the next stack see if we can get another one wouldn't mind getting several but you know i'm happy at this point and i have to look up some of these other guys uh I apologize for not knowing more about the minor league stars i just well, I don't know. I like opening packs. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, Andrew Dalquist. I'm uh, going to be out of 99 again. And then we have an Aaron Schunk, uh, who is out of 25. So we'll put him in the 25 pile. Really sharp looking uh, cards. It looks like 99 is the main uh, on these packs. It's going to be the highest number that you have. All right. Let's see what we got here. All right, Cameron Cannon out of 99, and Colin Barber, also out of 99. Really, really good looking, uh, good looking set. They kind of keep uh, these in particular, the Valiant. Uh, they keep kind of the same look year year after year. So they kind of have a, if you like them, you you kind of stick to it. Um, you know. They shake it up a little bit in design, but it's very similar. So um, I like them a lot, so obviously. So uh, let's see, you got Matt. And Matt's in orange, and I think that's 35, yep. And then Michael uh, Toglia is another green, uh, 99. Really good looking cards. We'll put that in the specialty pile. Hopefully we can score another Jessen. So, let's see here. All right. Noah's Song out of 25. That looks pretty good. All right, let's see what we got. 
Sterling Sharp. <laughs> if you're an old football fan, there you go. Uh, 35, and then Noah Song. Like we said, out of 25, that's some really good sharp looking autographs. Are nice and clean. Look at that. It's really nice. Awesome. Let's see what we have. Oh, that one's almost out of its case. <laughs> All right, so Brett Betty out of 99. And then Shay Langeries. Langeries. Also out of 99. Pretty sharp. Oh, we're down to the last uh, last bit here, last five. Uh, at least we've gotten one Dominguez. Uh, definitely makes this whole thing worth it. Um, not un unhappy at all. And in fact, you never know, like with some of these guys. Oh, look, there's a uh, specialty card there, so we'll see who that is. Um, and maybe we'll save that for the end. Let's put that aside, and I'll uh, we'll see and look at what that is. So here's Andrew Vaughn. Uh, 99. I mean, I'm sure that some of these guys also, uh, like I said, uh, you know, have to do a little bit of homework and see uh, who some of the other big names are. Um, I know some of them, but I think a lot of the ones I know uh, are either going to be next year's or the year after, or um, they've already kind of made it into the league. I kind of have a, a little bit of a hole in my knowledge in this area. So there's Gunner again, uh, 9 out of 35. Oh, wow. So here's a printing plate. That's cool. So TJ uh, Sakima. TJ Sakima. One of one printing plate. Pretty neat. Awesome. Put them up here, too. Well, he's not going to stay there. Alrighty. And we have the the gunner that we had. Uh, I think we had this card earlier in a different color, probably green. So that's cool. So we've got two gunners and a printing plate. So those are two really awesome uh, low low production cards, obviously. All right, let's see what we can find here. Right. Now let's see, Kyren Paris, uh, thirty or twenty five. Sorry. Awesome. And then uh, Cameron Minsner. We had him earlier. I've actually heard his name before. I think he was in the Futures game at one point in time. 35 out of 35. That's cool. It's the last one in the print run. So we'll put him aside too. Um, like I said, I think I've heard his name. I think he might be a decent, uh, decent pickup right there. One of the rare ones I think that I've seen. A few of them, I'm like, wow, that's a new name for me. Um... So then we got Josh Smith. It's going to be down to 99 in green. Oh, there you go. That's a pretty looking card. Aaron Chunk. And that one's out of 10. Two out of 10. Look at that. That's awesome. All right. Set those aside. Okay, we're down to the last pack, and we still have the... Um, uh, Redemption card to look at here in a second. I was going to save that for the last. Um, all right, let's cross our fingers and hope for uh, Jason again. It's okay if we don't. We've done really well so far. I like this. This has been fun. So Ethan Heron or Hearn. That's a green, so it's going to be out of 99. And then Logan Watt, orange, out of 35. Pretty nice looking. All right. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Last but not least, um, 2019 Elite Valiant Braylon Marquez base auto card. Uh, parallels will be awarded at time of fulfillment. That's kind of how they do it. So you could get a really short print run, or you might get end up with uh, one of these greens. And I'm guessing when they say the base auto card, it's going to be this this Valiant V. Uh, if I had to guess. Uh, that's probably the regular base card. Uh, otherwise, it's a you know uh, new dawn or something else. Um, so yeah, 
So we'll look forward to seeing what that comes back, and uh, hopefully we get a low print run. Uh, awesome. I'll have to scratch that off and put it in. Um, also, pick this up. Just throw this in. If you haven't tried the Project 2020, which is on the tops.com, they are pretty neat. They come in these uh, protective cases. They're in bubble wrap. But, uh, you know, this is a Mike Trout art card. So they had several different artists uh, that actually did um, renditions of uh, popular players' uh, rookie cards. Uh, so they've done like Mike Trout, uh, Ricky Henderson, uh, Jeter, Griffey, Frank Thomas, so on and so forth. Uh, you know, Roberto Clemente, Mays, all those guys. Uh, but they get to do an art card, really kind of neat. Um, they have low print runs, so once they uh, turn off uh, the ability to buy them, or once you, you know, once the timer runs out, that's when they stop making them. So whatever, whoever's purchased them up to that point is the print run. Um, so I went ahead and purchased uh, five of these Mike Trouts. Um, you know, and I've got several other kind of coming just because I think they're neat. I don't know. Uh, value wise, uh, some of them have really taken off and others haven't. So I don't know. It's kind of a shot just depending on print run. But anyway, if you've never had them, you might try it out and look into it. Tops.com Project 2020. Uh, really neat uh, product. And they come out with something new every week. So it's kind of it's kind of fun to watch. So anyway, that'll about do it. Uh, thanks for watching my video. And uh, there's the big winner today. Um, I mean, that's a really nice looking card. Hopefully I'll take it out of here and it'll be gradable and, uh, it'll probably be heading off to PSA. Uh, really excited to get one that wasn't just the green. So it's about 75. So that's kind of neat. But anyway, but that's the one that I was, uh, hoping to get at least one of, and we got one. So and we also got a nice uh, printing plate. Uh, so that's, uh, that's a lot of fun. Anyway, thank you again for watching the video. And we'll see you next time.